My name is Alvin Pezzi and today we will talk about Web3. So before we start the show, let's first think about what Web3 is actually. Web3 implicates that there are also other kinds of webs, um, Web1 and Web2. But what is actually Web1 and Web2? Web1 could be described as something where we have only static content. Um, it basically links the world, it links the different pages, but there is no interaction. Web2 introduces this interaction. Um, so with this, we uh, enter the platform economy. And we have an internet that is mainly nowadays uh, controlled by a handful of big companies uh, who are um, giving us access to these uh, platforms. And now Web3 kicks in and gives the user the right and also the possibilities to control their own content. Um, so they are not bound anymore to a specific platform, but they actually control their own data and they can decide what kind of application and better said, what kind of interface they want to use to interact with the web. So we enter a stage where we have an open ecosystem. We enter a new era where we have something that was envisioned with the very first version of the internet, an open internet, a transparent and independent internet.